Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk from Los Angeles. Um, yes, I slept with my makeup on. Sorry, I'm trying to get better. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys a story. Sometimes things happen to me and I'm like, oh, Coffee Talk. Yesterday I was on the plane coming to Los Angeles um, for my meetings today and um, Jersey Bell meetings, people. Jersey Bell. Okay, so anyway, I meet this flight attendant. Such a cute girl. And something about her energy tells me she needs to have a conversation. I don't know what it is since I started doing Coffee Talk, but I can... I feel like people who need to talk to get something off their chest tend to gravitate towards me. Either that or I'm just getting nosier by the day. Anyway, she and I start talking and I say to her, where are you from? She tells me what state she's from. She's watching now, so I'm not going to tell you the state because I don't want to give it away. But that she moved to Los Angeles. And I go, oh, that's a tough one. You're single? She says, yeah. I said, oh, Los Angeles is tough. Hard to meet somebody. So she starts telling me how she's trying these different dating apps, right? And I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, that's one way to do it. I, I don't know a lot about it because I got out of the dating game before the dating apps. Um, although I did try J-Date one time. Anyway, um, so here's the great part. So she starts talking, right? And she tells me that, well, I don't know because my ex and I just started like kind of trying to figure things out. Okay, so right away, red flag to me. So I go, oh, your ex? Yeah. Um, he still lives in our home state, but, and I go, oh. So just out of curiosity, why did you break up? I don't really know. No, no. Yes, you do. Give me one sentence. Why did you break up? Well, he's a musician and told me that he needed to make that the priority and he really couldn't focus on the relationship so you know we needed to break up and I go I said looked right at her I go you know that's crap right and she was like and I go oh it's crap total crap when a man loves a woman there is nothing that will stop him from being with her not time not distance not space not a job, not a hobby, not a career. There are men curing cancer, delivering babies, walking on the moon who keep their relationships going. You think Neil Armstrong was like, babe, I'm going to walk on the moon. We got to separate. I got to really focus on this. No, that is crap. He got a little taste of what could be, and immediately thought to drop this girl that loved him so much. He showed her exactly who he was. And then when his career didn't take off like Arrowsmith, he came back and started getting back in her mind. The time is right now. I have more, my priorities are changing. I have more time for you. No. Your career didn't go the way you wanted it to, so now you wanna come back and get her? And I looked at her and I go, what are you doing? What are you doing? And she was like, I don't know, what am I doing? Exactly, what are you doing? Let's talk it through. Why would you go back to somebody who dropped you like that? He has completely shown you who he is. Well, maybe, and as she's saying it, you can see the wheels turning in her mind, like, holy crap, she's right. You could, see, you could see this young girl having this like revelation that, oh my God, I've allowed him to explain it to me the way he wants to explain it to me and I've accepted it because I wanted it to be the truth. But the truth is the pro... 
The truth is not the problem. The problem is the problem. And the problem is he dropped you when you no longer served his bigger picture. And when big picture didn't work out the way he had hoped, he came back to collect what, what was his. No, 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 boo-boo. Mm -mm. No, this girl is going places. This girl is 28. This girl is beautiful. This girl, her energy, I, I just wanted to be around her. And she's good at her job and she's trying. Like, she's a good girl, you know what I mean? And she deserves to be with somebody who will make her a priority regardless of how successful their career is going. Listen to me. If you love somebody and want to be with someone and they are telling you that they can't be with you right now because whatever, their career, an opportunity, they, they need to give all their energy to blah, blah, blah. I want you to think about people like, I don't know, Ronald Reagan had amazing careers, was an actor in some of Hollywood's biggest movies, never left Nancy, became the leader of the free world, pretty big job, took his wife with him. You don't, there is no opportunity in the world that Michael would leave his wife behind, even when we were like just dating. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. What, but the bigger issue in Coffee Talk is why as women do we accept it? It's almost like we willingly go, oh, okay, we can't be a priority right now. Okay, no problem. You go do you and I'll just wait here. No matter how long it takes. We think, what do we think? That's like romantic? Do we think that somehow like solidifies how much we love them? That that'll prove something to them? We look like fools standing on the side of the road waiting for them to come back for us. I don't like that at all. If somebody tells you that they love you, but you've heard enough, there's no but. If somebody wants to be friends with you, you will know it. They will move heaven on earth to be your friend. If somebody wants to be in a relationship with you, you will know it because they will move heaven on earth to be in that relationship with you. There is no guessing. There is no excuses. Stop, stop right now accepting the nonsense. Stop making excuses for his or her excuses. Stop, stop trying to convince yourself that it's just not right now, but I'll be right for him in a month or six months or a year, or he, he is gonna leave her. I know he's gonna leave her because he told me it's just not right now. Stop. Know your worth and then go from there because you are awesome and you are not meant to be waiting on the side of relationship road for anybody. Uh-uh, no, no. If they can't take you with them, on their journey. Bye, Felicia. Have a great time. Mm -mm. Homie, don't play that. Anyway, the good news is she was like, oh my God, I think I got it. You were meant to come into my life. This is what she said to me. You were meant to come into my life. I needed to hear this. My eyes have been opened. Thank you. So I know she's watching. I love you all today. Today's a big day. I'll keep you posted. Have a great day.